why we would uh we might not ever breed tron now that's exciting because he's a good dog and he's good in the eyes of our peers and our peers are all those people who view and enjoy watching him grow if you hear some chewing back there that's the general enjoying a good chicken leg uh, it's about as big as he is so you only give him two and some organs and a few other tricks but i can't tell you everything guys stay tuned i'm going to walk you through the progression problems challenges but try In this video, you will see some overlaid old school good view. It's a good perspective on what it took to really get Tron here and how he was uninterested. Now, I had to live up to the idea I put out there. Let me make this make sense. I named the dog Megatron and I asked myself a very serious question. And it was, do you want him to live up to that name? And if you don't, then you're a liar. And the only person I'd be lying to is myself. You guys wouldn't have cared. He'd just been a big dog that looks nice. But I said to myself, let me see if I can pull some out of this dog. Because I did name him. His full name is Megatron. And I want him to be a great dog. I didn't breed him. So when I don't breed a dog, it doesn't get me as excited. I got to be honest with you. It's, I'm, I'm, re I'm really, 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 really annoyed. Because I know that I have to do 10 times the work because I wasn't in control of the epigenetics. Maya is a prime example. She is a case where you go, oh God, I've got to do so much work. And there's a level of patience that you have to have or had to have to ensure that we got, that we installed the epigenetics that I want to compound. Compound meaning I want to double up on some of her drive. I want to double up on her kindness. I want to double up on her being somewhat athletic. I want to sh better her breathing and, and just her overall health. That, that was what I was looking for in her first breeding and second breeding and any breeding with Maya. And all dogs. Our dogs, to be clear. So when you're thinking about, hey, I get the messages. I see this stuff at times. Man, I think Tron's your best dog. I appreciate those thoughts. Those thoughts. It's like somebody sending you the, the, your condolences. It's like, okay. <laughs> but here's the thing. I've invested and dogs character wise since I was a kid so I knew what everybody was getting I knew what every, every I knew I knew exactly what you were going to be up against because I'm fascinated with character even when it comes to humans so when you start thinking about Tron God someone who lacks confidence makes me sick can't be around him and that stuff literally turns my stomach upside down I feel like I want to throw it right now just thinking about it Tron's a dog who lacks confidence at times and lacked a lot of confidence and had it not been for my patience and my ability to bring the best out in him, we wouldn't be here today with Tron. He is a great dog to be clear. We do and we are at some point more than likely going to breed him. But when I breed Tron, it needs to be a girl so tough. She needs to be so sure of, his, uh, of herself that I rid myself of any concerns character-wise with Tron. And that girl does not exist. Cha-Cha is not the best female. Nala is not the best female. Everybody loves Zara, but she's not the best female. She's too, she's too over the line. Hera, she could be a good female. And I really think her daughter would be a better female. <laughs> but that's a good ways away. The beauty about Tron is at three, I'll freeze his semen five times. He's not even two. Going into four, I'll freeze it one time. Going into five, I'll freeze it one more time. Which means at any moment in time, we could use Tron, but the whole time, he's my dog. He's a good dog. Hunter and I co-own him to be clear. So I don't want, uh, but as you, you, you know by now, with all everybody, the dogs are best suited in my hands. Uh, and everybody gets better because of the work that we, we do separately and collectively. So when you're thinking, man, I love Tron, he needs to go to this, he goes, guys, it's not that simple. If someone told you that breeding was that simple, that's probably why there's so many breeding problems. It's just not that simple, looking at two dogs. And, and, and let me be very clear, it's not that simple, but it's that simple. But because we put two years of work into every dog, I want to make sure that the dog's fair. So when you look collectively at our house, you say, hey, why would you get rid of Bam Bam? I've already did a video on the fact he lacks confidence, he's defensive, he took on a lot of Baloo's traits, and Baloo's a punk. That's the truth. Cha-Cha is actually very loving and it's coming into her own. Super smart. 
I've not seen real reactive behavior. And I believe that I can manage and better cha-cha long term. So we've, we, we've got some time there to like work through some things. Point is this. If you're breeding, pace yourself. If you're taking care of a dog, pace yourself. If you want to better your dog, pace yourself. And the key to pace is patience. What are you looking for in your program, in your dog, or in a good dog? And it's very simple. A dog that can listen, a dog that's intelligent, a dog that <clears throat> can better a household, a dog that betters you. A dog that potentially teaches you about something. I know the American Bully is confusing, and it is a confusing breed because when you buy a Rottweiler, a German Shepherd, uh, a Malinois, a Cocker Spaniel, you know what you're getting. When you get the Bully, just it's like bubble gum. Life's like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're going to get. <laughs> And uh, I don't know that that's a good thing. So for now, take care of your dogs. Tron, more than likely at some point, will get bred into our program. But because I know who he is, and even more importantly, I know who he's not, we've got to take our time, people. We've got to get it right. We're in no rush because breeding does not make or break us. We literally are just having a good time. Keep taking care of those dogs, people. We'll talk again soon.